Yeah, I'll take that. Wally Cuba. What? Which is Wally? I bet Wally Cuba. Ecuador. Ecuador. That's South Africa. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can I ask you a question? What's your name, sir? Okay, just coming up that right off there. Uh, right, okay. I don't know how to respond to that, what he just called me. But the point is this, okay? Listen, guys, I've asked you, do you recognise any of these famous prisons? But the big question is, do you recognise the prison that lived within the door? Every single one of us has got chains, haven't we? Some of us can't put the bottle down. Some of us carry the chains of a broken heart. Maybe someone you thought you could trust broke your heart and you carry that every day. Some of us carry the chains of a health problem. But you know, there's one chain every single person carries. You tell me if I'm right or wrong when I say this. 10 out of 10 people carry this chain, and it's the chain of death. Is that right or wrong? 10 out of 10 people die, don't they? 150,000 people die every single day. And every single one of us is one day gonna go six feet under. We're all going to die. And my question to you is, what do you do with this chain that is around you right now. How do you break this chain? Well, Jesus Christ said this, if the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. The Lord Jesus Christ can beat all of your chains. Because he rose from the dead, he can beat your, your chain of, 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 of sadness, your broken heart, he can heal you. That's what the Lord does. But the biggest chain is this, we're going to, we're going to die one day. Because the Son of God knew how to raise himself back from the dead and give eternal life. He can give us eternal life and he can bring us back from the dead too. You've woken up today and you thought, one time, where did your breath come from today? And the moment you've woken up today, have you thanked God that you've got food on your table today? Have you done it? Have you thought about your creator today? Because do you know God thinks about you all the time? And he wonders whether you're going to come to him and receive his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the Lord God, he cares about you. He knows everything about you. The Bible says he knows the very numbers of hairs on your head. The Bible says that not one of the sparrows falls from the sky without the Father in heaven knowing that it's going to happen. He knows everything about you. And here's a question for you. If, you, if this God knows everything about you, do you think he knows that you've got skeletons in your closet? Do you think God knows what you are watching this week in private? Do you think God knows about the time you lied? Do you think God knows about the time you did the dirty on your spouse? Do you think God knows about the time you were drunk? Do you think God knows about the time that you were angry or you had a fight? God knows about all the things you've done and the Bible says it is appointed for man once to die and after that the judgment. We'll all stand before our Creator one day and there is only one way out. There's only one way to be forgiven, and that is through the Lord Jesus Christ, who shed his blood on a cross 2,000 years ago. Now this one, number three, again, we're even closer to Preston now. Do you recognize this? That strange way. You can we're tell all by the on the roof. Yeah. What did you say? You can tell by him on the roof. Yeah, he was on the roof. You know, I was in Liverpool once, and someone came up to me and said, that's Jimmy, that's Paul, that's Steve. You know, he, he was in there with them, okay, yeah. And all the prisoners broke out to the roof. A little bit harder now, number four. Do you recognise that one? Somewhere in Belfast, isn't it? You're right, you're right. Do you know the name of it? The Maze. The Maze. You're, you're an expert. You're a prison officer, sir. No, lad. No, yeah. Ex it's the Maze prison. Ex you're right, yeah. yeah. You're what? I'm an ex -con. Ex -con. You're an ex -con. Brilliant. Okay. Well, the Maze. I've got a friend who went there. He was a, a man. He ended up in there for about nine years. He came out, and do you know when he was in there, he was a little old woman from the Salvation Army used to read the Bible to him. He became a Christian, completely changed around the most gentle man you'll ever find. Okay, number five. No one knows this one. No one can ever guess this one. Which one do you think it? I'll give you a clue. It's a Christmas bird. Turkey. Not turkey. Robin. Robin, Robin, Robin Island. Island. That's where Nelson Mandela went.